I'm going to uh, give some reflection about biblical critical theology from Dr. Chris Watkins' book. Uh, there's one page about the about the emancipation victims and oppressors, which I thought is very very relevant to today's our social class struggle in America and the constant walk um, uh, propagation of ideologies in the, in the uh, even to the extent of robbing and and uh, eroding a lot of Christian values in in in, in America. Uh, there's a there's a struggle, not a class struggle. It's a struggle between the right and the left. Uh, the right goes for conservative values, just um, you know, just for responsibility in the society, etc., and be useful, be work hard, be responsible for yourself. And for the left, is always uh, giving out to social welfare to feed the poor and and uh, and uh, fight against marginalization. However, with come with it a very very liberal ideas, which is uh, which is really very obnoxious to uh, to Christian God, the God that we worship, for instance, abortion and um, transgenderism and all this, all these things. So let me pick out the uh, Chris Watkins' fantastic words here. The, the, mod the modern simpli simplification of the Exodus narrative uh, that issues in a victim oppressive binary of different groups in, so in society is a symptom and consequence of modernity. Modernity's reductive understanding of slavery and freedom. Now that's a very good word. Basically, the word today, the word, the progressive society of the of our of, of the world today, uses a very reductive understanding of Exodus. Exodus is glorious. God delivered Israel from Egypt to Himself to worship God. You know, whereas today the progressive is fighting for 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 deliverance for oppression to what to their agenda continually. To feed now, they added more Marxist ideas, added more um, very, very liberal ideas. It totally got nothing to do with with the setting free of the oppression, oppression narrative, uh, setting free emancipation uh, by Moses, uh, by God through His servant Moses for Israel is to emancipate, set free the captives from slavery, from bondage in Egypt, to God Himself. To worship God. Moses said, let, God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh. Let Pharaoh know that let my people go so that they can go and worship me. Whereas today our progressive want to say, let the oppressed go free. And don't worship nothing. Actually worship worship themselves. Worship be, be everything they want at their convenience. To abort babies, to have whatever sexuality you want to be. To be totally free society. Feed everybody free of charge. It leads to the illusion of an absolute and unmitigated oppression pitted against a pure, unconditioned liberty. This is an illusion. Illusion of an absolute and unmitigated oppression. The problem is not with the emancipation narrative as such, but with the way emancipation functions as the exclusive lens through which to view the whole of society and all social progress. Okay, so emancip emancipation, setting free the oppressed is an excellent thing. It's a glorious thing. And we should fight with every ounce of energy for that. But you can, what is saying? You can look at the whole world through that lens. You know, because if you don't have the last part of it, in my view, to worship God, your emancipation leads you to nowhere. To grade it like what he said, you know, like he says, and you know, our society has a tendency to reduce and isolate this narrative, feeding all our social critique through its cookie cutter. It leads to a situation in which emancipation follows, follows, follow the culture of consumption. So emancipation becomes a cultural consumption because they want more emancipation. It's, 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 it's a consumption. Society in our attitude, it needs ceaselessly to be renewed and exceeded in order to meet market demand for ever more radical emancipation. So always more and more and more radical emancipation. The, the original emancipation for Exodus has already been totally distorted by today's so-called emancipation um, for more radical emancipation because it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a cultural demand now. It's, it's a cultural consumption now, you know. Uh, while not realizing this dynamic itself creates a growing 
catalog of hidden oppressions and exclusion. Watkins book here says, you know, by doing the process of getting more and more radical emancipation, it's a culture of consumption. By driving that you could meet more and more cultural demand folk they are really feeling good about this and they want more and more and more. It's a it's a great problem now. It's going to realize that there's and and it, it, inevitably you're creating it resulting in the process progress, the process of all this stuff, and hidden oppressions and exclusions. It also leads to situation, emancipation narratives become a gatekeeper of theological orthodoxy. Moltmann says, the modern critique of religion no longer makes a critique of the content of the faith, but it's by a purely functional critique of the psychological, political, and social effects of the faith. You know, in other words, Christian faith is not looked at as faith anymore. It's really looked at as economics, as a functional critique now. Functional critique is God. No more Yahweh, no more Jesus. It's how good is that for me and for my family, for my society, for my desires, for my whims and fancies, for my freedom, for my liberty. Everything is about me now. You know, it's, it's going by the psychological, political, and social effects. This, this is being reflected in all forms of society. In, in our political world, in Congress, in the White House today, look at the White House today, in the Congress today, look at that. And, and I'm not saying that only the left do that and the right do that too, in, in a different way. It no longer asks what is true or false, but only whether it is a function of oppression or liberation, alienation or humanization. What is the truth? To worship God is not important. It's not about the truth. The truth is whether functional it meets my demand, my requirement. So, so uh, you know, <laughs> this is this is a crucially important thing that we need to understand so that we can get over this. Um, like like a like a metaphoric say everything the umbi umbi <laughs> um, umbilical cord umbilical cords. C.S. Lewis called it, everything is a mix. Everything in the long run merely a precursor or development or relic on the instance of a disguise of the one fundamental thing, which is their own agenda, the desire. The human, this, so to conclude here, it's the, the, the progressive in our world today has transformed the narrative, has used uh, the biblical narrative of Exodus by God through Moses to deliver people Israel from oppression to their idolatrous and heretical way of saying we are setting our people free from the oppression, going to not to worship God but to worship themselves.